Well, hello and welcome back to Montreux. We're at the Palais d'Omnisport on the banks of Lake Geneva for the 34th edition of the Montreux Volley Masters in a tournament that continues to showcase the talents of the world's best in women's volleyball and some of the emerging talents within the sport as well. Eight teams competing here for the 2019 title. We're going to see six in action today. Already seen the hosts and last year's bronze medalists, Switzerland and Turkey, respectively, in action in the opening match. Won 3 1 by Turkey in the end. Now we turn our attention to the opening match from Pool A, which features Japan and China. China have won the last four contests between these two, the last three all settled in straight sets. Japan come into this tournament desperate for a change in form. They've lost their last four matches all at the World Championships where they went down against Brazil, Serbia, Italy and then the USA respectively. Their last win came against the eventual winners though of that tournament in Japan in the World Championships. The Serbs three sets to one. China's form is somewhat better after their run at the World Championships last year. They ended up in the bronze medal match, winning convincingly against the Netherlands after losing to Italy in the semi-finals. Italy, the reigning champions here in Montreux after picking up their second victory in this particular tournament. Japan have won it once. That was back in 2011. They also had a great run in 2015 when they ended up as the runners-up here in Montreux as well. Starting six is just being confirmed down on the sidelines. China have won the title here six times. Their last win coming three years ago in 2016. They possess one of the most exciting one of the most explosive squads in world volleyball at the moment and they have a fascinating volleyball nations league run coming up very soon indeed that all kicks off at the end of this month on the 21st actually so just a few days after the end of this tournament they'll be traveling over to brazil playing in the brazilian capital brasilia up against the host nation, Russia and the Dominican Republic. So a tough start to their campaign. Japan, for their part, will be travelling to Bulgaria to play in Rus on the same dates. Up against the host nation, the United States of America and Belgium as well. Well, quite a lot of experience amongst the vast squad that's been brought here by Japan but also a lot of young fresh talent to be tried out at the same time of those experienced players they do contain five who've won over a hundred caps for their country in fact Yuki Ishii the wing spiker who is in her ninth season with the Hisamitsu Springs will be winning her 175th cap for her country if she plays this evening Kumi Nakada, the coach of Japan, the former setter, bronze medalist in Los Angeles 1984. Also played at both the Olympics in Seoul and Barcelona. Well, one hopes that that particular fan will be more glued to the action going on in front of her than to the action going on on her phone once it starts. Last few moments here of the warm-up going on in Montreux after what we witnessed a highly entertaining and uh, perhaps somewhat surprising opening match of the tournament. Teams often grow into this tournament. It's an intense tournament. Six games in six days played by the majority of the nations. Both of these two nations will have high expectations that they will be there potentially in that final match come the end of the tournament. Thailand will be in action in our final match of today. They make their bow up against Italy in what should be a very entertaining encounter indeed. That will be 
Action from Pool B, Switzerland and Turkey. Completed earlier, three sets to one in Turkey's favor. Thailand and Italy, the last match of today. So the presentation of the two teams about to take place, then we'll meet our referees, and then finally it'll be time to be introduced to the starting sixes. Seems to be a little bit of indecision about exactly what's meant to be going on here at the moment. And I don't think the referee can hear in his ears. And the players meant to be going through some formal handshake at the net. And uh, some honouring that tradition, others not doing so. And Chinese fans all prepped for this one. So let's time to meet our referees. Ozan Kaji Serikaya of Turkey will be our first referee. Second referee, Ilaria Vanyi from Italy. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the pr announcer here, but he's just rattled off the names there of the players from China way too quickly, way, way too quickly. <laughs> So, perhaps I have a chance now <laughs> to make their way out onto court and actually hear their names read out. So, Zhao Lin Yu, Yang Han Yu, Hu Ming Huan, Li Ying Ying, Jing Yixin, and Yu Yan Han. The players starting there with the libero Lin Li. So Nana Iwasaka, first down, Riza Shinabe, Yuki Ishii, vastly experienced player, comes out onto court to join them. And then we have Mai Okomura, alongside her, Ai Kurogo, An Jaji, the man in charge of Team China. His opposite number, Kumi Nakada. Well, these two teams are very familiar with each other. And we are all set and ready to go. Well, 
we appear to be all set and ready to go, but at the moment, nobody seems to have a ball in hand. Kuroko is the player who will be serving first here. Good reception through the block, and Japan immediately with a chance here. And Ishii can't put away her first spike. Won't get another chance because they've started to go through the middle, and it's Iwasaka who makes the kill. set is too long perfect start from Japan and an untidy one so far comes straight away from China pressure put on from that return and again Japan with a great chance here to make it four Ishii forces it through the block and like a train Yuki Ishii Timeout taken by China, who are being crashed off the court at the moment. Better reception this time, set to the far side, and it's a far better and more clinical play, and Zheng manages to earn the first point for China. There's the dig. Set to the far side, half blocked. Ishii will get another chance and beautifully placed. Yuki Ishii using all of her experience there just to slide that one in. Dao. Half off the block now, Japan. Good pass forwards, and that's just going to skip off the top of the net. Will be an opportunity, not even a joust needed. Ball put high and by who? <laughs> Foul serve. Disappointing from Cheng. <laughs> Firm serve. Well received by Lee in the end. Rolled home. Japan, though, they have another chance and very slick play at the net from Seki. Nanami Seki. Starting setter for this one, just 19 years of age, turns 20 on the 12th of June. 
One of the players here from the Torre Arrows. We could firm serve and the reception. Not perfect, but China recover well. And Liu Yanhan makes the kill. It's going to be just wide. Excellent power impressed on the rally from China. Well, kept alive. Zheng Lian wait. Ball comes out. Put home, just catches the back of the line, Li Ying Ying. China with that added height, able to apply the pressure at the net and suddenly find themselves very much back in this set. Japan need a good side out this time. They won't have one, the play is red. Good dig. Dart sets again. Carried just wide of the top of the net. And it was a great chance for China to level things up at seven apiece. Instead, slight error, and it's 8 6. Good dig. Set to this near side. And that one just floats long from Corogo. Well put away. Push long again and China having battled their way back suddenly slipped behind again by three points. Good dig. 
Great power. Jao can only direct it out. And then Japan retain that three point lead. Half blocked. Japan with another good chance here. Set to the far side. Down the line. Tempt to be kept alive. Brilliantly done. Japan have to win the point all over again, which they do. Kuroga. Kuroga往口,他送球,我们的强攻往口上送打都没问题,听懂吧,每个人都要注意这个哈,这只上了网我们自己把它打好,第二个是说好了的,电脑你们后场附近的六号位的一号位的主动出来抢你球啊,听
Ishii tries to divert that over the narrowest of angles. Set again. Just kept alive. Ishii. Jiao. Liu. Popped up again through the middle. Okamura this time with the kill. Dug out. And a great block. Okamura this time with the block. 20 points to 12. Second ball just rolling out. comes in from Yuri Nabea. And Nabea is there on hand. Clawed over. Jar. Pushed deep into court. Japan all over it once again, but the block is good. So push wide. Flat serve zings in half blocked. Set again. It's the outside arm by Ishii this time, but won't get the power behind it. Great dig. Pass is going to be just too long for Ishii. Good attempt, but Nanami Seki couldn't quite control it exactly where she wanted it. A serve. Good block. Magnifique Pipe, attaque 3 mètres, très spectaculaire au centre. 
Trying to hit back. So they're going to make this first set scoreline respectable. For Japan, though, just two side outs. All they need. Drifts underneath. Fantastic set. The length of the call there. But trying to hit back. And good power demonstrated, as we've seen throughout this opening set from Li Ying Ying. Serve was potentially going long. Awkward set up. That one's going to go too long. The joust is one, and then... Misjudgment rising for it from Jiao Linyu. So Japan, set point. Chance set to that far side, just rolls it into the space. Jiao is underneath it, set, and Ling Ling again manages to find the goods for China. Four points the difference. Second time of asking, Japan do it. It's an excellent opening set from the team that would have come into this one as the underdogs dominated the early exchanges. They were up early on, but they managed to really pull away in the midsection of that set. China left themselves an awful lot to do. In the end, the scoreline relatively respectable because it's only five points difference between the two teams. But Japan have it, 25 points to 20. And that is a welcome end to that rather disappointing run that they've had against China over the recent 12 months. Last three matches all ended 3-0 to the Chinese. The fourth one, 3-1 to China. Well, here it's Japan who've taken the opening set in Montreux. 25 points to 20. Is it a sign of things to come in this match?
So the stats from that opening set. For one ace apiece, five blocks from China to Japan's two, not unsurprising. And uh, errors wise, the Japanese committing more, but they just had the edge in every single department. And those errors came largely towards the end of the first set when China applied a little more pressure. An excellent first set it was from Japan, not necessarily reflected in the statistics, and it's the Japanese who lead by one set to zero. Ding Seki with the set and initial block straight away from China who demonstrate in the opening point of this second set what they should have been trying to do a little more effectively in that opening set. Seki. Good cross court accuracy from Shinabe, and that one goes up into the roof. So, a successful side out this time. And one straight back up the other end. Li Yingying has been superb throughout this match so far. Foul serve. Jiao to serve. 3 2 China. Good dig. Nicely set from Seki, but the block was good. And Japan's attacking formation on that occasion, too predictable. Okamura successfully blocked by Yang. Seki, nice set, Kurogo finds her mark. Get a touch of the net, probably just deflected it a little more away from the outstretched arm there of Mako Kobata. Her inability to keep that one alive. Gives China that two-point lead still. It's going to be an ace. Kobato, Seki. And once again, China 
managing to cover with their block and they're reading so well. And that one strays long. Good serve down the line. That's a great recovery from China. If this can be kept alive by Shinabe, they'll stay on the point, but there's a good opportunity here for the Chinese once again, and the side out is good, and they lead 8-5. Good block again. Time out taken by Japan. First one. And they've slid behind by five points here. over but China so much more on it in this set so far and that's another brilliant pass which set up an opportunity for Yu Ying Ying Teki needed options another reach there and they wanted it just to be set properly but the cut shot goes wide and the disappointment at missing pained look on the face of Li a couple of miss hits involved in there. Seiki can set to the far side. That was a great opportunity. What a dig from Lin Lee. And the block is good again, but they keep it alive. Hit straight through the front of the block. Japan claw back two points in a row. A serve, Seiki getting a great angle. Seiki like can't back it up with two in a row. Oh, 
Back to two points between them. Crucial moments in this set, you feel. That one dug out by <laughs> Cheng Yichin, the skipper. China side out. off the top of the block that one goes long no touch on that into the space, it's good enough. It's a nice play. Really well dug out, said to this near side where you, who is fast becoming the most impressive player out on court here, with another kill. Seki. Net touch from Young. That's uh, went all wrong from Yuki Ishii. I wouldn't expect a player of her experience to make such a basic error. It's an ace. Well, that came at a very opportune time. Brilliantly done, and once again, just sailing through. No stopping Li Yingying. Timeout taken by Japan, their second one, as they find themselves down by five for the second time in this second set.
Lee on serve there. Half blocked on the way through. And then crash through the blocking attempt. Not Lee on this occasion, but Zheng Yichin. Down the line. And one found by Corogo. A little wayward on that one. But great strength. Just too long. Good joust won by Japan. Jao Seiki. Tip through the middle. And that gets a touch on the way through. Appeal being made by Zheng. No touch, apparently. Actually, this ball landing in. Well, I mean, it clearly didn't land in. So it must have been a net touch. It's not a net touch, I do beg your pardon, but a block touch. Chance. Oh, great angle found by Zheng down the line. Little unforced error coming in there from Japan. Seven points the difference and really hard to see a way back for them now. Good power. Oh, good angles. Yuki Ishii. Good dig, Seki will be able to set to the far side. Once again, though, the block is there. Hu Mingguan. And they have been dominant. A serve and China moved two points away from leveling the match at one set apiece. Seki sets those near side, touched into the space. Shinabe manages to get that one. 
Allez, on se laisse pas aller, on commence à avoir un peu plus de monde en fin de journée. Vous serez prêts It's good. So China have set point. Good block. And again, just forced through the block, but Japan need to have a structural change if they're going to come through and back into this match. Shinabe into the net. That is the end of set number two. China dominant from the outset. They had the early chances. They were immense with their blocking in set two, and Japan just could find absolutely no way back into it. In the end, they lose by eight points, 25 points to 17. We're all square, one set apiece in this pool A opener. Aida Schuck, you said that you were in the years of the national team. It's true that we were just next to Andreas Falmer, who is an entrainer very well known in Switzerland. He's an entrainer Esch, and he's also an assistant entrainer of the national team of Allemagne. He's in the process of making statistics. How does he do these statistics? He does it simply to prepare his match for the next match against Chine. Donc euh, lui, il doit analyser, par exemple, il m'a dit le bloc et euh, les services des Chinoises. Donc euh, voilà, après ça va être analysé ce soir avec tout le staff et puis pour donner les bonnes informations aux joueurs pour demain. Ça veut dire qu'on change complètement la stratégie d'un jour à l'autre en fonction de ces statistiques Oui, complètement. Chaque, chaque équipe a ses propres euh, forces, mais après, euh, surtout un tournoi comme ça, il y a des styles de jeu qui sont tellement différents qu'il faut vraiment euh, chaque match s'adapter à l'adversaire. C'est quoi qui fait un bon entraîneur, un bon entraîneur de volleyball Quand je le vois, j'ai envie de dire un entraîneur qu'on voit le sympa après et qu'on arrive à rigoler, mais ça va un peu plus loin que ça. Oui, Et encore un peu, c'est So there are the stats from that last set. Three aces from China to Japan's one. Six blocks to zero. There were more errors from the Japanese once again. China more attacking and dominant in the end throughout the set. They won it 25 points to 17. One set apiece then. Fascinating. Decent serve, not well dealt with on reply from Zheng. Just in from who? Yes. 
7 pancartes en public en face. Hein. Allez, on peut faire mieux que ça. Good serve. Nice set to that near side, but the block was there once again from China, who have really looked to apply pressure on the Japanese attacking chances. Kabata tries to bring Ishii into play. Who's underneath it? Zhao is there again. Lee looked as though it might have been blocked wide. Ishii, look for that cut shot, pushes it wide. Serve. Set up. Jar. Oh, brilliant work at the net to keep it alive, and Ishii finishes it off. Lee, not going to miss from there. Voilà, ça suit avec les pancartes en face, de droite à gauche. Voilà, monsieur, les bike blocks, c'est comme ça, de haut en bas. Good coordination, just to. See that over at the net and then set back across, laying in wait. Through the blocked attempt. Just takes a touch on the way through off the hands of Young. Japan, one in front. And now an eight serve. Allez, on peut les encourager, mesdames, messieurs, que les supporters japonais ou supportrices peuvent faire du bruit. Et les supporters ou supportrices chinois. Et voilà. Can't be backed up by two in a row, but Risa Shinabe with one ace there. A reply of an ace there, and just a lack of communication. Korogo and Ishii not speaking to each other well enough. Ishii, block wide. Yang with the kill. Kabata across to that, then rolled into the space by Karogo.
one each from Seki of the net. Fine dig. Set long and then a fantastic angle found down the line from Risa Shinabe. Jean. There was a touch on the way through. Very close and tense so far in this third set. Forced away by Iwakasa. Iwasaka, of course, not Iwakasa. Another good flat serve in. Jao sets that far side. Lee. Kavata keeps it alive. Ishii, what a chance it was. Just mistimed her jump. Kumi Nakada looking perplexed. Options one was up the pipe. Corogo. And now an ace serve. Ciao. And that was wide from Lee. Tomo 大家好 
It was a touch. Good dig. Seki sets to the near side. Yuki Ishii can't put it away. Jao. Lee. Fine angle. Rolled into the space. Plenty of space for Zhang to find there. Push long, Kobata underneath it. Not the perfect set. Kurogo is wide. Okay, flat and then missed. Okamura with a real chance spurned and it's back to one point difference between the two teams Japan take their first time out of the set Set to this near side where Kurogo makes a really good kill. Nabea introduced. Just lands in. It was a miss hit. But Wang manages to do enough. Was there a touch? The answer's no. 
frustration from the Japanese team, but we are all square, 17 points apiece. Just missing. Big block. Well, one since being introduced has been a menace at the net, standing alongside Ju. And the two of them, huge presences at the net. Very important side out, this one for Japan, and it goes wrong as Yuki Ishii had too much to think about. Just trying to lob it over the top of the defense. Push deep. Komogo unable to get that away, and Lee pushes it into the span. Komogo is underneath it. Seiko sets, and then Kurogo manages to get the touch off the block. Deep serve. Kurogo, here's a chance for Japan. Kurogo comes back. Oh, she's missed it. What a chance that was. Greatest reception again. Shinabe can only help it back in. This is a fantastic chance for China. Don't think there was a there was a touch on it. It didn't look to me as though there was, but there is no challenge system. Clearly no touch. Japan can feel massively aggrieved about that particular point. And now they're in real trouble because Japan haven't received well there at all. Shinabe. Good dig from Kuramoto. This will be kept alive from Zheng. Pop back into play. Reverse set down the line, great work. We've seen some fantastic work from Lin, but she can't do anything here. <laughs> Japan back to within two. Dipping serve, Lin underneath it. Jiao sets that far side. Ishii. Kuramoto underneath it. Two huge blocks straight down the middle. Wang with the telling one.
Prepare for Mishi. Dig. Ciao. Another good dig. Yuki Ishii. Over. Slight miscommunication. So China take their first. Uh, China get the first set point. A foul serve. So now a huge point here for Yuki Ishii on serve. Gonna be blown wide. Japan back onto level terms. <laughs> Serve is just long. <laughs> Second set point. Well done from Korogo. Incroyable. 
Japan turn it around and they take the set 27 points to 25. China look utterly stunned. Two set points saved by the Japanese and they come through to take that third set 27 points to 25 and it means they lead now by two sets to one and those smattering of Japanese fans we have here in the Palais d'Omnisport in Montreux celebrating and celebrating a set which they didn't look as though they were going to pick up so it's 2-1 to Japan the first time that they've won two sets off the Chinese for a while now so can they finish the job and pick up a, a long overdue victory against their old adversaries we will have to find out let's take a look back at the best highlights from set number three before we rejoin the action in set four. Confirmation then of the stats from that last set. Errors costing China dear in the end, and Japan being a little more bullish in attack towards the end. So they now have the advantage. Two sets to one. Can they go on and finish the job? Timo Lipner looking on here. His team won't be playing against either of these two sides in the pool stages. Switzerland going down three sets to one against Turkey earlier today. Set four between Japan and China. It's the Japanese leading two sets to one. Neat play. Good dig. Shinabe. Roll that one down the line. Good joust. Ishii wins it. 
Deuxième point de l'équipe de Chine qui revient à 2-4. Allez, les supporters chinois, ils sont où Faites du bruit Les supporters japonais ou supportrices, faites du bruit Changement pour l'équipe de Chine, numéro 19, rentre à la fin du 14. Liu sent back across Lee. Uh, had a quiet end to set number three. Boom, straight back in there. Take it goes over on two and it foxes the Chinese. Take it by surprise. Japan leads 6-4. And another. Kept alive. However, the Chinese will be favourites to kill it, and Yang does so. Good dig. Oh, well put away, though.
Touch on the way through, but it also finds the court. Nine eight Japan. Seki, little flat one there. Half locked. And wide and no touch on the way through, so we're all square. Good thing. Just kept alive. Good joust. Ishi had to be strong. Crucial moments. Oh, that's a good half block. Seki sets to the far side. Ishii block wide. Chance missed out. Hard work. Lin gets it across. Lee going for the right sort of shot, just unfortunately on that occasion, not able to find the accuracy.
Uh, pressure on China here again. Lee can only bump it into play. Koramoto is there. Seki round on the run from Okamura. Good, slick, fast hands from Japan. And with three points, the difference between the two teams here in a vital fourth set. Straight away, we see China take their first time out. Pushed in there, great speed on the serve. Probably going long, but player didn't have time to get out of the way. Seki just touched over by Ishii, scrambled alive here. China, no, this is a crucial point. Pushed in deep on the court. Kuramoto, Seki sets again. Just touched into the space by Okamura, but it wasn't good enough to win the point. Seki sets again. Ishii touched on the way through. Good call. Coming to keep it alive, and then Lee is there. Fantastic dig out. Ishii pushes deep into the court. Phenomenal rally, Lee squeezes it through. Shinabe just manages to get it back over. Kept alive again. The crowd getting totally into this rally. Liu's underneath it. Set once more. Lee tries to pulverize it home. Ishii's underneath it. Ishii blocked. Was landing in. Ishii can go again. Blocked once more. Kept alive again. Bumped into play. China now with the opportunity. Slammed through the middle and wide. The opportunity goes. What a rally that was. Best of the day so far. A crucial one for China to win. Korogo sees her shot go wide. And it's just two points between them. Seki, Ishii touched on the way through. China fighting for every single point here. The block is good. Serve. Well dealt with. That's off the top of the net though and wide. And Japan get a crucial point to move four in front. Well now, some huge moments for China. That serve comes in. Good dig out. Koromoto Seki sets to that far side again. This time, it's Komogo who misses the chance. Half blocked. Nice pass. Seki gets it across. Komogo was there. Orders being barked from the sidelines. Yu in position there. And then Lee. 
Good hit back from the Japan side. Block is good. Well watched at the front. Block is good again. Well, they haven't had many in the match, but that one from Irasaka could well prove vital. Might get across to that one, though. Well, China cannot afford that sort of serve at the moment. It drifts long, and that sort of opportunity gobbled up by Japan. A free point. Miss hit. Shinabe looked for that angle, found a really good angle, but Lee comes through the middle, and, well, Seki... Probably should have left it in retrospect. Thank you. Oh, that time, Ishii. Needed to find the angle, and she doesn't. Now Japan still have both of their timeouts intact. Shinabe underneath it. Seki had to reset herself. And as a consequence, she wasn't able to get exactly what she wanted on the spike. Lee strikes back, and it's just two points between the teams now. And finally, Kumi Nakada calls the timeout. Le coaching, ça se perçoit, on sent l'état d'esprit de son coach, comment ça se passe Mazite, 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 suddenly brought the crowd right into this contest. Not that they've been out of it for long, but they were completely and utterly absorbed from that moment onwards, and they remain so in this set. <laughs> 21 points to 19 in Japan's favor. The serve comes into Shinabe. China doing everything right, making Japan work for every point, and then Lee comes through and makes another. One point the difference between the two teams. Well, Japan pickpocketed China in the last set to take it 27 points to 25. 21 points to 16 in this set. It looked as though Japan were home and dry. Now, China have a chance to take this into a breaker. Just want to be able to prevent 
the Japanese siding out and they've done so again and set up another opportunity for Lee but it hits the top of the net this time and goes wide my one hopes she doesn't know the lyrics to this song Pressure back onto China. They need the side out and they get it with ease. Japanese block, not anywhere near as effective as the Chinese has been. <laughs> Wang on serve. Kuramoto, keep it short. That was slick play from Japan. They needed a quick side out on that particular rally. They get it. Good serve. No oh, pressure now on. That can only be helped back into play. Shinabe Seki sets to the far side to Ishii. Plenty to aim at. And Yuki Ishii brings up three match points for Japan. Time out taken by China. Last victory against China came just under two years ago. Serve so catches the top of the net, puts pressure on here. Koromoto is underneath it, Seiki sets it to Ishii. Touch from Lee, dragged wide, and Japan have the victory. It looked as though China were going to take control of this one. They motored back in the second set to win it 25-17, and they had two set points to take, a two sets to one lead. But China passed up those opportunities. Japan defended superbly and picked their pockets. One set number three, 27-25. And then it was Japan who take this fourth set, 25-21, to secure a phenomenal victory. Their first win against China since that one in August 2017 in the Asian Women's Volleyball Championship. And it comes at a crucial juncture, the start of this Montreux Volley Masters 2019. The opening match in Pool A goes the way of Japan, three sets to one. And that is a huge victory for them. China will be back, no doubt about that, in their next encounter. But for Japan, it's time to celebrate, whereas China know they have work to do. Final score in this one then, 3-1 to Japan. 25, 20, 17, 25, 27, 25-21. And we'll be back in just over half an hour for the concluding match of today.